in this video we have been given that a b c d is a square and e p is 1 p q is 3 and f q is 2 and c d is x then we have to find x so first method we know that a b c d it is a square that means these angles they will be 90 degree and now from point p if we make a perpendicular on bc suppose this point is m then angle qpm it will be equal to angle qec suppose theta if this angle is theta then this angle it will be also theta and also pm it will be equal to cd and cd is x so pm it will be also x and Now, in triangle QPM, it is Q, P, M, this angle is 90 degree, this angle is theta, PM is X and PQ is 3. So, cos theta it will be base that is pm over hypotenuse that is pq so we get cos theta is equal to pm is x over pq is 3 we get cos theta is x over 3 And now if we extend CD and from point F if we make a perpendicular on CD, suppose this point is N, then we know that ABCD, it is a square, that means BC, it will be equal to CD, that will be X, and FN, it will be equal to BC, that will be X. So, FN, it will be X. And now, in triangle, FEN, it is FEN, this angle is 90 degree, this angle is theta and Fn is x and Ef is 1 plus 3 plus 2 that will be 6 and 
sin theta it will be perpendicular that is fn over hypotenuse that is ef so sin theta it is equal to fn is x over ef is 6 and now we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta it is 1 and sin theta is x over 6 square plus cos theta is x over 3 square it is 1 and it is x square over 36 plus x square over 9 is 1 and we can take x square over 9 common and it will be 1 over 4 plus 1 it is 1 and it is x square over 9 times 5 over 4 is 1 so x square it will be 9 times 4 over 5 that is 36 over 5 so x it will be root under 36 over 5 that will be 6 over root 5 so we get x is 6 over root 5 and the second method we know that a b c d it is a square that means these angles they will be 90 degree and now from point p if we make a perpendicular on b c suppose this point is m then angle QPM it will be equal to angle QEC and it will be equal to angle QFA suppose theta this angle this angle and this angle they will be equal suppose theta and this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree so triangle EPD it will be similar to triangle PQM it will be similar to triangle FQB because angle theta is equal and 90 degree is equal so ep over pd it will be equal to pq over qm it will be equal to fq over qb and ep is 1 over pd it is equal to pq is 3 over qm it is equal to fq is 2 over QB suppose it is 1 over A so from here 
we can get PD is 1 times A, that will be A, QM, it will be 3 times A, that will be 3A, and QB, it will be 2 times A, that will be 2A. So, we get PD is A, QM is 3A, and QB is 2A. And now CM it will be equal to PD that will be A. CM it will be A. And BC it is BQ plus QM plus CM and BQ is 2A plus QM is 3A plus CM is A and it is 6A and we know that ABCD it is a square so CD it will be equal to BC and CD is X it is equal to BC is 6A. So, X is 6A. And now, PM, it will be equal to CD, that is 6A. PM, it is 6A. And now, in triangle QPM, it is Q, P, M, this angle is 90 degree, PQ is 3, QM is 3A, and PM is 6A, and PM square plus QM square, it will be equal to PQ square by Pythagoras theorem and PM is 6A square plus QM is 3A square, it is equal to PQ is 3 S square and it is 36 A S square plus 9 A S square is equal to 9 and it is 45 A S square is 9. So, A S square it will be 9 over 45 that is 1 over 5. So, A, it will be root under 1 over 5. That will be 1 over root 5. And we have X is 6A. And it is 6 times A, it is 1 over root 5. So, it is 6 over root 5. So, we get x is 6 over root 5. 